Today's the day we're beating the game. What's with the overbearing confidence? Did Jill pop a Tylenol in your denture water? That or a Pepto-Bismol. Because I'm livid that it's been two entire recording sessions and we're stuck on the same night. You're the FNAF concierge. Why haven't you done what Michael Jackson said and start with the man in the mirror? That's what I'm doing. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I don't like the way you said that. What are you going to do, panty raid a playground? I've been avoiding certain strategies solely due to how effectively boring they are. But now I don't care anymore. I'm pulling out the big guns. Nothing's more American than guns, after all. All right, now it's time to get to work. So what does this secret strategy include, Joe? So what I'll do is I'll seal this vent that leads directly to our office, and then I'll keep him locked back to Cam 10. That way, he has absolutely no real way of getting to us. Ah, I see. Smart. I thought of that, too. I just concluded that it was too much of a cop-out for me. I like doing things the right way, like building a better America. There's just so many holes in that statement. It's like Swiss cheese. No need for me to poke any more in there. Obama, I don't want to hear a word from you after you put the American people in detriment. Oh, that's rich. Name one thing I did that sabotaged any citizens. Well, for you, this nation works on the corner because you allow anybody and everybody into it. America is a free country. You're just going to reject the immigrants that came over from their war-torn countries? The countries that you sparked a war against? Uh, you guys are really starting off on the hot seats today. That hot seat must have caught Donald's pants on fire for how much of a liar he is. Liar? You think I'm lying? Don't deny that. You clearly do. Well, yeah, I'm human, but I'm not lying about this. Obama, I don't know if you're getting secondhand dementia from Joe, but you were the person to lift the HIV travel ban. Do you know how many people you've allowed in this country with life-threatening STDs? Yeah, I forgot you have uh, problems with people that have other issues other than being too rich. That has nothing to do with it. It's the fact that you've endangered plenty of the nation's people with that decision. And you've let this country become the capital of degeneracy. Anyone is hooking up with anyone and causing this horrible spread of disease. Incredibly ironic coming from you, Don. Hello. Oh, damn it. We were supposed to react faster, Joe. Now Springtrap is flying through the facility. Back to what you said, Don, saying I'm human, just voids you from all hypocrisy. Is that right? Pretty much. Isn't that the whole point of saying that sentence? Infallible logic once again, Don. Yeah, I should just hand over my Nobel Peace Prize now. It's embarrassing to have been compared to the likes of you. Glad you agree. Something tells me he's going to be right there. I must be psychic. Well, there went your big plan. Might as well just pull your pants down and hit the moonwalk. That might hold him off. Stop putting things in my mind that I don't want to visualize. That was only step one, Donald. I still have another trick up my sleeve, even for this situation. Oh, do tell, Sleepy Joe. Well, first, I'm going to try to lure him to cam two, and I don't think it worked. So what now? Do you remember how we have a camera at the bottom? It's not just for show. If Springtrap is at the doorframe, you can actually lure him away by playing an audio at cam one. So let me ask, why didn't you do any of this when it was your turn? You guys would have noticed what I would have done, and it would have been a lot easier to breeze through the game. I wanted it to be more challenging for you guys so you could possibly figure out a strategy on your own. So what I'm getting at here is that you purposefully hid information from us and allowed us to struggle, which is why we're in this situation now. Are you serious? No, that's a, a separate sentence entirely. He just wanted us to figure it out for ourselves. Just simple problem solving, Don. We spent an eternity and a half on this night. I don't mind persevering through some difficult moments, but this is ridiculous. If it makes you feel any better, this isn't a money-back guarantee that this method works. Everything is still up to chance. This is just another gun in the holster. I still got absolutely cock-blocked from knowing anything about this. That's nothing new for you. Hi. Ah! Damn, Foxy's jump scare is the worst. Don't choke now. It's 4 a.m. and I'm really trying to move past this night already. You say that like you've done any of the workload. You say that as if you did any more. More than you. See, even Springtrap agrees. All right, remember how he was already at the window? You can bounce him back from the window and cam one if you do it efficiently enough. What about getting him back to cam two? He typically moves past the window by the time you have the camera pulled up, making it almost impossible to lure him to cam two. I'll still try just to show you how it would work. Or he just stands there. Huh. Never had that one before. Is there any way that we can drag it out? You, I mean, of course, as soon as I say something. All is not lost. We can still hold him to cam one. However, I'm not going to reboot the camera system because we already know where he is. Time is of the essence right now. 
What if he tries to sneak up behind the camera and jump scare from the desk? We can't have the camera up for too long, otherwise we're putting ourselves in jeopardy. So we just sit here? Pretty much. It's already 5 a.m. We just need to bleed the clock. Oh, damn. It is 5. You cruised through this night, Joe. You're counting chickens before they're hatched, Obama. Joe still has to pass the finish line, and I don't think he's had his daily nap yet. Don, maybe one day you'll get a better insult list than Joe liking kids or falling asleep. You get turned on by Toy Chica. Your opinion is irrelevant. Ow! Don, what the hell? Did your body just make a Minecraft sound? That's not the point. Why the hell did you hit me? For spreading lies. You know how much I hate fake news. Yeah, but is that really fake news? You want a piece of this, too? Oh, please. You probably hit like a wet fart. Barack's right. The sting of the slap is still there, but it's not like it actually hurt. And it looks like we have to take our chances. Get out of here! Too easy! Let's go, Joe! I bet I could have done that, too, if I knew about the... Shut, Shut up. up! I forgot, in Joe Biden's America, you don't have access to the First Amendment. Can't you just be grateful about anything? Listen, I'm still happy that Joe didn't take a snooze at the wheel, but I'm just saying that I should have known more going into that night. Is Foxy going to share the same fate as the rest? You guessed it, but I actually want to show you guys something, too. Oh? So if I stand at the edge over here and then hurry to the other room, the mini game breaks and purple guy comes from the wall. Is that our reminder that he's an omnipotent being sent to torture us? I will not confirm nor deny that. Hey, Joe? What is it? Remember our conversation the other day when we recorded Poppy Playtime? Which one? You talked a lot during that session. And every other session, too. The one where we talked about who would win in a fight, me or Huggy Wuggy? Oh, yeah, I remember that. My answer hasn't changed, if that's what you were wondering. I didn't expect it to, but that's not what I'm getting at here. Fight to the death, who would win, me or Springtrap? Springtrap. Why, what the? I wasn't even talking to you, Obama. I don't need your permission to talk. And be realistic here, do you really expect to win against that thing? He's built like a Tonka truck. You're not moving that. I have to agree with Barack, but for other reasons. His physical characteristics are certainly fearsome, but there's other qualities that make him so difficult to take down. I wasn't joking when I said he could literally be in the SCP containment facility. Well, since you keep knobbing this guy off, let's throw you two in there. All three of us versus Springtrap, winner takes all. Two senior citizens and their caretaker trying to take out an eight-foot-tall killing machine. I want you to plug in the numbers on that equation, Don. Oh, come on, really? It's a three versus one. You can't tell me that we wouldn't have the advantage. Uh, I can't move that much to fight. My bones are like pretzel pieces at this point. Well, I appreciate the honesty, but that shouldn't be a problem. You could attack from the front. And what happens if he snaps my neck? All's well that ends well. Geez, thanks, I guess. But that wouldn't happen. Obama would hop on his back to restrain him from moving too much. You would hold him in the front, and then I would jump into his legs to knock him down. Once he's on the floor, we just dismember him. Uh-huh. You really thought all of this out, didn't you? Now tell me that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. If I'm in front of Springtrap, what happens to me when you tumble into his legs? Like I said, all's well that ends well. Well, if we ever cross paths with a weird entity in real life, the first thing I'm running from is you. And he's staying there. Ah! Boy, you cannot catch a break with Foxy, can you? He's your favorite for a reason, Joe. You must be his favorite, too. After FNAF 2 and now this, I'm really starting to debate that. I can also tell you who's not my favorite. Is Balloon Boy really anybody's favorite? He's lucky I didn't put him on a bounty board. Now that I'm thinking of it, who is your guys' favorite animatronics? I think mine might be Freddy. What about you, Don? You think I have a favorite of these metal alloys? That's secret code for Toy Chica. Are you... Don, is it too late to reconsider adding Balloon Boy to your hit list? With that tasteless joke, you're lucky I don't add you to my hit list. What's the point? You already hit him. All right, so things are looking really good right now. We still have Springtrap in the corner, and it's four o'clock. If we keep it this rate, we'll beat it first try. That would be absolutely amazing, considering how troubling night four was. Yeah, no kidding. This strategy really is overpowered. That's why I avoided using it for so long, because it really took the challenge out of it. When you got the formula down for the previous games, there was still a huge difficulty ahead of you. While it's still difficult to beat night five in this game, it's nowhere near as present as the others. Yeah, I can see those words come to life. You're cutting through the night so effortlessly now. Again, uh, all I needed was this information, and the world's best security guard would have beaten every night on the first try. Well, now I can't find Springtrap right when it hit 5 a.m. Uh, okay then. Wasn't that the puppet? Yeah, for some reason he didn't trigger. 
Not that I'm complaining. I really don't want to see that hairless oaf invade my personal space anyways, so a win's a win. I'm honestly shocked you didn't segue that insult onto Joe in any way. Now, Barack, you know he's just going to use that as an idea now, right? Damn it, not now. Oh, come on. Great, a staring contest for the win. Leave already, you crackhead mime. At least that made him leave, but I have no idea where Springtrap is now. This is how we lose night five, isn't it? A tall, pale man stares at our soul and causes us to die. And we're not even in the Bronx or anything. Shut up, Don. Just let Joe do his thing. It's okay, guys. We still got this under control. Just like that, baby. Hell yeah, Joe. That's how a president does it. This game didn't know what hit it. You outright bullied that night. Yeah, you showed up and shipped it out. Wait, what's going on? Didn't we do all the animatronics? I could have swore we did. Maybe it's counting gold. What the hell? What's happening? Are we a child? A dead child. If you can inference off of, of the things that have happened in the game. I'm still confused. Are we the ghost of the children that have died? Well, you're used to what the sprites look like. You can figure it out. That answers your question, Obama. And we're just gonna go in here, and here we go. Whoa. The whole ghost gang pulled up. Are they gonna kill Purple Guy? Get him. Put him in the dirt. You were all big and mighty when it came to kids. Now you're fighting someone your own size. Rip his balls off. What is he doing? He got in the suit? Yeah, that's really gonna protect you from ghosts. And now he's laughing. What the? Well, hot? Damn. What just happened? He got in the rabbit suit and it made him bleed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call karma. The ghosts are fading away. Purple guy taken out and the kids are at peace. Name a better end to a game. Wow, that was really the end, huh? Wait, bad ending? How do we get a bad ending? The purple guy literally met his end. Yeah, but did you notice what type of suit he got into? A yellow rabbit. Why do you ask? Where else do you see a yellow rabbit throughout anywhere in the entire game series? We don't see one, do we? We only have Bonnie. There's no yellow rabbit anywhere else. Sometimes things that you don't think exist can hide in plain sight. Wait a minute. It can hide in plain sight or, or right on the damn menu screen. What? Don, what color is Springtrap? No fucking way. No fucking way you're telling me that Springtrap and the purple guy are the same person. How, though? He died in the cutscene. How is he still alive? To sum it all up, in the phone tapes that were recorded, the phone guy was basically saying that there was a back room that wasn't tracked on the cameras. This back room held a spring-locked suit named Spring Bonnie, and it was for people to wear and perform for the kids. However, it became dangerous because those springs could lock straight through the person's body. So how does that relate to the purple guy? Basically, the purple guy killed those kids and stuffed them into the animatronics. However, the spirit of those kids came back to life and haunted the purple guy and got into the suit for protection. This backfired and the spring locks triggered, causing him to technically die. So this isn't even an animatronic, it's just a pathetic human being. Why did we get the bad ending then? While purple guy died, the souls still aren't put to rest. Throughout the nights, there are other things we have to do to help soothe the souls of those kids. That's how we get the good ending. We also have nightmare mode, which is the sixth night. Whichever we do first is up to you guys. So we have to play through the entire game again, or the hardest difficulty. Maybe Purple Guy's fate is not so bad. 